We are awaiting a press conference that should happen at any minute from Blount County authorities. This following the capture and arrest of Kenneth Wayne DeHart. He is now charged in the shooting death of Deputy Greg McCowan. This playing out last Thursday, but the capture happening this afternoon in East Knoxville, just off Magnolia Avenue on Linden Avenue. This a mugshot of the suspect, Kenneth Wayne DeHart. This um, happening once again, just a matter of hours ago after a five day search. And this mugshot you see on the screen, this was taken when he was booked into the Blount County Jail. We do now, he's now being taken to Loudoun County Jail where he will be housed. Authorities, of course, are charging him after saying he shot two Blount County deputies, killing Deputy Greg McCowan and hurting Deputy Shelby Eggers. As Robin mentioned, this all started Thursday night during a traffic stop on Sevierville Road in Maryville. Authorities say officers tried to pull him over. He did not comply with officers, would not get out of his vehicle. A taser was used but did not work. Now authorities took him into custody in East Knoxville today after once again a five day manhunt. Authorities say he was found at a home on Land Linden Avenue just off Magnolia Avenue. This is about 19 miles from where the shooting happened last Thursday night in Maryville. We learned about this arrest around 345 this afternoon. Once again, authorities in Blount County set to hold a press conference at any minute to bring us the latest details as to how this capture and arrest happened this afternoon. The suspect right there, Kenneth Wayne DeHart, now in custody. He was booked into the Blount County Justice Center, but he is now on his way to the Loudoun County Justice Center. Now we want to check in with 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez, who is at that scene in East Knoxville where that capture had happened. Aaron, bring us up to date on what you know from the scene there. Brittany, Robin, we are still at the scene here. It's on Linden Avenue near uh, on the corner of Linden and North Harrison. As you can see behind me, I'll step out of the way. You see officers congregating, they're chatting. They've been going in and out of the household. We have presumed to, uh, to look for evidence and things of that nature, but the things, let me describe to you the house. We had, from when I've been walking around and from what I've seen, we've had glass in front of the house, either on the, on the lawn and in the front lawn area, looks to be broken glass, as well as two windows in the front of the house that looked that they've been shot through by some sort, whether it was a firearm, grenades, we are unsure, but there's definitely damage sustained to this property they, uh, due to the uh, search and, and uh, arrest of the suspect, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. Uh, as we've been saying all night, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. is the suspect in the Blount County shooting, de uh, the deputy shooting, which left, uh, which, which shot and killed um, Deputy Greg McCowan, as well as shot and injured Deputy Shelby Eggers. He's been on the he, he has been on the run for nearly five days now. That concluded uh, earlier today when we when we heard in our newsroom around 3:45 that an arrest was made here in East Knoxville off of Magnolia uh, near Magnolia and Linden. We are like I said, we are in the 2600 block of Linden Avenue. The property behind me we, is where they were able to get uh, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. As you know, the Blount County Sheriff's Office will be holding a press conference. We'll take you to that. Uh, shortly. Back to you in the studio, Brittany Robin.